Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. My name is Gant, and welcome back to Riddle Joker. Last time, um, uh, more or less, we were at the fair, right? So, we were serving food and everything, everything was a-okay. Then this creepy guy started taking pictures of the, you know, the females because they are wearing <laughs> bikinis. I don't know why they allowed it, but fuck it. So, Kimoto sensei went over there and be like, Hey, here's, you're taking pictures? Get the fuck out. Basically, and it's like, oh, okay, <laughs> about causing the incident. And, um, oh, she told um, my guy, like, hey, Misukasa's got to do an interview where she's going to be by herself and you can't go because, you know, you got to run the restaurant and you can't, you can't go for her. You're weird. No one likes you. You're nobody. So right now we're going to talk to the father, uh, Rinosuke, whatever his name is. I'm just looking at his name right now. So yeah, without further ado, let us continue. <clears throat> I heard- I heard the voice on the intercom. Right. I know it strays from the original mission plan, but I'm asking for permission to commence the operation now. If we don't act, all the planning we did will be for naught. I understand. However, please let us find the right time to strike first, so we can make sure no- none of the- these goons get away. Don't act abruptly, even if they fall for the trap. Trust in us to do our job. Copy that. So yeah, I wanted to hide you in here just in, just like we are discussing beforehand. Yeah, I get that, but are you really going to be able to take my place? Yep, we got all the necessary pieces f for it to work. I take out the card from my pocket. This card, as you may guess, has memory fiber infused with Shigoro Hito's astronauts imprinted on it. This here basically allows me to virtually deceive anyone around me. I should have no trouble getting them to believe I'm... Did, did that just stop at I'm? Pun. I'm you. Okay. I, I didn't read I'm you. Oh, because it was... Oh, I'm stupid. Sorry, my... Fuck, my, my mic is um blocking it a little bit. Uh, I'm not good. I'm not professional. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave now. So that means you'll be left on your own. Don't, but don't panic. Just stay calm if anything happens. Keep this communicator on you. You should be able to get in contact with my boss through it. Okay. All right, I'm commencing the operation. Roger that. On my count. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. On my mark, I link with the Astrons. However, I don't use my own ability. Instead, I focus mentally on the card and activate the ability stored within the memory fiber material, Shuga Hiyoto's ability. Oh, wait, hold on. If he's being her, right? He doesn't have the pads. He doesn't. <laughs> Hello? I'm here as requested. Misukasa, ah, my apologies. Misukasa, ah, my apologies. You're our Harakun, correct? How strange. Why did I think you were Misukasa-san for a moment? Uh, hmm. I guess the effect wore off once I she heard my voice. So how can I help you? Misukasa-san was called here on the intercom and I came here on her behalf. It's still pretty crowded at our cafe right now. So she wanted me to tell you that she wanted to wait a little longer. Ah, okay. Thank you for coming here to inform us. If you don't mind asking, is that about the interview? Yes. Yes, it is. Kimoto Sensei called and asked if she hasn't come, if she come yet. I, I called her back and tell her that Misukasa-san wishes to wait a little longer. Thank you. I take my time, walk back to the pool after leaving the faculty room. So as long as I don't speak, I'll be able to masquerade at Misukasa-san. What just happened with the teacher is proof enough of that. It also means my area of fact reaches all the way to the faculty room when I activate the ability at the pool. She was probably still there during that. Looking at my little trick is working just like I want it to. The school has a massive campus. 
and all the fair visitors are allowed to enter most buildings aside from the research building. That includes the student dormitory. Nanami has an ex extraordinary high link value, yet she's would be she wouldn't be able to cover the entire campus if she activated the ability by herself. But that is a relatively simple solution. If one isn't enough, then we would just use more. The SFD members who we have strategically positioned around the school could all activate Shorohiroto's ability at, at the same time. That would constantly allow us to deceive quite literally every person currently on the camp school campus. The deception of course being that Arihara Sitaru has the appearance of Misukasa Yase. Luckily for us, it turns out that Hi Shogo Hiroto's ability isn't one that has <laughs> that's terribly hard to control, like Nanami's is, for instance. Also, lucky is the fact that you don't need to physically be in the same location as the object or person you manipulate you people sorry, you manipulate people's perception of using photos and like instead of working just fine do i have her boobs though well duh, yeah like that's the only way shogo knew how misukasa looks with the fucking fake ass boobs it should be safe for us to assume that i have the appearance of misukasa san to everyone right now the teacher's initial reaction is solid proof that it is working and hopefully, the assailants are going to capitalize on this opportunity now that I'm walking the hallways all by myself. <laughs> this bald motherfucker and this guy like... <clears throat> and like clockworks, two people appear in front of me blocking my way. There's a tall man with a lean build and a larger muscular mat guy. Their physical... Their physique may be near impossible, but what they do is common is that their bodies are both very, very well trained. I can tell even from above the suits they have on. <clears throat> you wouldn't happen to be Misukasa Ayase. The slender guy in front of me addresses me politely. His tone may be soft, but his eyes have an icy cold glint. As my body tense up, I shout with a glee in my mind. The bastards fell for it. I was a bit worried since we have no real proof that they'll come here and attack, but now that they're here, I know I know we were right. But this is still too early for celebrations. Instead, I can seal my relief and faint bewilderment. <laughs> Resistance is futile. I doubt you want to lose your life today. Will you accompany comply and come with us? I turn around, hoping to flee. But there are two more men wearing similar suits blocking the side of the hallway. They've got me cornered. Uh, the SFD doesn't seem to be making any moves just yet. According, accordingly, I, oblige, I obligingly go with the men. This was what dad instructed me to do. Really? I was told we were dealing with a mutant, but I guess I was worried for nothing. Even with the powers you have, you're still just a kid. The whole expo fair honestly feels like just like a normal school festival too. Not to say that some of the things you're doing here aren't disgusting. Oh, I see what they are. Motherfucker, I see it. I see it too. <laughs> These guys are like, we're racist if we don't like your kind. <laughs> They're basically like the, the KKK if they wore like suits and not wearing those freaking masks. They just hate us. Oh no, the... What's that movie? Ah, fuck. The X-Men! Remember the third movie, those scientists or the people protesting like, We don't want mutants! Yeah, give them the drugs so they can be shut down! <laughs> yeah, like that. That's what I'm thinking. Um... Can you talk? Looks like we're gonna... Can you talk? Look, we aren't going to kill you, so no need to be afraid. Shut up already, will ya? You're talking too much! Whatever. The slender guy shrugs his shoulders in response to the big guy chi to the big guy's chining. Pick up your feet if you want to live. You have your freakiest abilities, but a bullet is faster. He's right, astro abilities don't make you a god. There are four enemies in total, two in front of me and two behind me, and they're all carrying guns. 
that doesn't sound right. Japan doesn't have no gun law. <laughs> has gun laws, right? You can't shoot me with a gun. That's illegal. <laughs> uh, sorry, man. Ah. Uh. Yeah, if you want to know my politicals about guns, I like guns. Because, I don't know, I'm not like the the NRA guys where it's like, We need guns because it's our constitution. Nah, fuck that, man. It's just a tool. You know what I mean? Like, I could stab this puto or whatever. It's just a tool. It's just like, but if they do take it out, it's like, eh, I, I, I don't mind. I always got a knife or something to keep me safe, you know? But a gun is better to protect myself when it comes with another guy who has a gun you know it's like why bring a knife to a gunfight <laughs> unless i'm good at throwing it like <laughs> you know like assassin's creed with that like the guy with the tomahawk like if i could <laughs> okay i i know i'm just messing around sure i could try a surprise attack but the risk is far too great sorry but you're co but you're going to be coming with, with us for a bit um What's holding up Dad and the others? I don't even know where these guys are going to take me. Somewhere off campus or what? Status on secure. <clears throat> Status on the security. No problems. Remember, Mantis is in control of the cameras. He should be replacing the footage while, while watching us right as we speak. We'll be able to leave here without a trace. Good. There was nothing in the system when Nanami checked yesterday. Maybe the recent... It Recently, it took them so long to make a move, they were busy hacking into the security earlier in the day. This isn't looking good. Uh... Hmm? Uh, something doesn't feel right. What? Is it just me, or is this girl being a little too submissive? Hmm? Her face didn't even change when, when we brought up the security. And she's not even asking us why we're kidnapping her. It almost feels like... She knew this was going to happen. Huh? Also, we have why haven't we seen the boy who was with her at the pool? The way he was acting suggests that he's trying to protect her. So why wouldn't he but so why would he leave her on her own? Don't think too hard about it. They're just kids at the end of the day. You know, he was trying to protect her, but you but if you ask me, he was just trying to show off to his crush or something. Misukasa Yase is with us right now. As long as we get her out of here, nothing else matters. I guess. Mm. Things not adding up. Things not adding up is precisely what breaks the misperception of this ability. The guy glaring at me right now. Don't tell me he noticed. Yeah, you're right. We don't we don't want to waste waste any more time here. Okay, good. It still looks like the effect is still working. I heave a, a sigh of relief inside my mind, when suddenly, I hear a voice. <clears throat> this is Mantis. I sharpen my hearing through my abilities, which allows me to pick up a voice from the guy's radio piece. What the hell are you, are you doing, Hermit? This is Hermit. We've successfully captured the target, and are on our way there now. The Slender Man raises his arm and speaks in the mic attached to his cuff on his suit. I believe everything's still proceeding according to plan. Are you concerned about something? Open your goddamn eyes, idiot! That's no girl you got with you! Eh! Fuck! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Fuck! Of course they would have people off campus. My cover is definitely blown now, so I guess I have to do do this. No, I gotta trust Dad. He'll come through. No, he won't. <laughs> you gotta fight. The bewildered looks on their face quickly vanish, and they pull out their handguns with attached silencers from their suit. When you switch places with her, you little shit! He's been fooling us with some astral ability the whole time. You're kidding! God damn you astrals! Move and I'll shoot. Use your ability and I shoot. There's no point in ish issuing me any warning. I'm not stupid enough to try anything with guns pointed at me. I'll be a dead man before I can even do Jack shield my ability. Yeah, what's ho holding? What's the hold up with Dad? I say we kill the little punk right here and now. Fuck no, corpses are bad news. Then what do you want to do? Take him and send Misakase Yase? But we could get ourselves off if we do that. We just have to kill him. Tch. I doubt there's gonna be. 
I doubt there's gonna be- fuck. I doubt they're gonna be too pleased if we come back empty-handed. But fine, there's no other option. Time's up, punk. I hope you're prepared to die. Uh, no last words. Heh, <laughs> so be it. This is where you die. Four shots muffled. Four short muffled gunshots respond. White, white smoke rises as I smell the scent of gunpowder. Fresh blood drips and creates a pool on the pavement. Ugh, what the? All four men has bullets through their hands. Without a moment delay, they pull out knives with their unwounded hands. Ugh. But I'm already on top of it. I close my fist targeting before... My first target before they have an opportunity to attack. Boom! Keeping the momentum right, I throw my fist in the abdomen of the guy to my right. From there, I use kicks and elbows to block and guard the other two. All four of them now lie on the ground. Stay on the ground and don't move. We've got you surrounded. This is the last warning. You. This is the last warning you will get. So don't try anything funny. Dad scowls at the man in suits as his coldly order, orders them to surrender. He stays behind cover, not making the mistake of revealing himself, focused and ready to shoot at a moment's notice. Four shots were off he fired, and he managed to perfectly hit all the four, four palms of all four men without any misses. I know he mentioned that he served in the line of duty before, but I never expected him to be this good. Yeah, I was special forces. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. There's no way you could just hit the hands. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just the hands, the palms. Like, no wrists, no nothing, just palms. That's kind of hard, so I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> Even though he hasn't react, he hasn't seen action in years, his skills haven't rusted at a bit. I'll be honest, I underestimated him. Shit. The slender guy tries to get up, unwilling to surrender, but not a second later, he suddenly pushed to the ground. It's one of my fellow SFD unif members with their camouflage uniforms. Optical camouflage? I don't know a single goddamn organization with tech that advanced. Who the hell do you guys work for? Sorry, but we'll be asking the questions. You better be prepared, because we're about to squeeze everything out of you, and I mean everything. Mantis, mission has been compromised. Get the hell out of there immediate- Formerly Mantis speaking. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but all of your friends here have been apprehended. This is as far as you go. You're surrounded. <laughs> Once the guy finally resigns himself to arrest, my invisibility- my invisible colleague skillfully disarms him. Following that, they search his collar and neck and find transmitter in, pro in the process. After finally confiscating his cell phone and wallet, they tie him up. <clears throat> Looks like we arrived just in the nick of time, huh? Yeah, I say. I was prepared to die when my cover got blown. Sorry it took us so long. We have we were having a hell of a time locating their off-campus cl <laughs> cronies. <laughs> I was gonna say clonies. Cronies. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't get hurt. So, did you guys get the rest of them? Mm-hmm. We got every every last one of them. Sorry for putting you in such a dangerous situation. I'm glad we made it in time. As long as the mission was a success. Do you have any inju injuries, Levy 6? No, I forgot to ask, but is Misukasa, uh, Misukasa son alright? No issues there, Levy. Levy. <laughs> no, like, no issues there. Levy 3 is currently guarding her. McGregor. <laughs> McGregor, McGregor to <laughs> fuck Alester, McGregor to Alester one mission complete. All targets have been captured. Alester one, copy that. Pull out of your locations. We'll regroup with you shortly. Not everything was entire, entirely as planned, but it seems the operation was a success. We'll take care of things from now. Go head back to the pool before your friend starts wor wondering where you are. Roger that. I'll leave the rest to you and the rest to the team. Mm hmm. All right. See you. Oh, one more thing, Levy Six. Yeah. You did a good job today. Thanks. <laughs> you did a good job today, kid. <laughs> Ooh. Wait. What the fuck is this? This is a fashionable lab coat. Oh. Hold on. 
No, I'm just stupid. I don't know what that fuck, <laughs> fuck that means. Because she looks cool already. Oh, welcome back! My senpai, first to, first to notice me, greets me as I return to the pool. Sarah was gone for so long. Don't worry about it. You're on your break. But it was a bit long for a bathroom break. Were you wasting time? Uh, um, not exactly. I just got a bit curious and decided to check out the fair. Sorry. I don't blame you. That's all in the past now. Just make sure you work extra hard to make up for the lost time. I will. Anyways, now that I'm back, someone else can take their break. Okay, then, um... Hmm? Huh? Satoru-kun, how did you get here? there? I looked down where she's pointing. She noticed a red stain on my on part of my clothes. A blood stain. Shit, I must have got it during the scuffle. Satoru-kun, did you... It, it's not what you're thinking. I just got some ketchup on me while I was eating a hot dog. I turn a... I turned my body away to hide from her sight. Thanks for pointing out, though. I didn't notice. I'll wash it off later. Oh, okay. I'm a scientist. I know that wasn't ketchup. You fucking piece of shit. I hurriedly <laughs> walk off to the changing room. I wasn't injured any, and and the only th <laughs> I wasn't injured any, and the only thing on my mind was getting back as soon as possible. So it seems I overlooked this. I think I should be safe, though. I doubt the average person can tell a bloodstain apart from a normal red one. But she did. She noticed. I think isn't gonna cut it. I report my conversation to Mayu Senpai that night just to just to be on the safe side, and my dad's first response is to shine me. Check and make sure. So I have to actually confirm that she doesn't think it's a bloodstain? That, yes, and also, to see if she reported you to the school. Is that really necessary? What? Of course it is. Remember, we're not dealing with another, any other student. With just any other student. She's special enough to be involved in research. Oh, right. See? What I'm talking about. Her word holds much more weight than your average students. Yeah, he's right. The school was informed that our operation was carried out by by plain-clothed policemen who spotted suspicious individuals on campus. Of course, we hit the fact that, the student, that a student was involved. But what do you think will happen if someone in her position tells them otherwise? Uh, the police has already known I was involved. The police have, are, have to have known I was involved, which means they deliberately chose not to tell the school. In other words, if the school were to learn about my involvement, that would spell trouble for the police. The school would likely suspect me of being an undercover investigator of theirs who assumed the false identity in order to enroll into the academy. No, at worst, the school might be begin to suspect the involvement of some outside organization. Yep, needless to say, they shouldn't be able to trace you back to the SFD right away, but still. If they know about you, you'll be under strict, <laughs> strict surveillance. And if that happens, I have no choice but to pull you two out. Understood? Understand? Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry. I'll try to get confirmation as soon as I can. Well, that now I have to wait till tomorrow. It's already late. Uh, uh-huh. Try anything at this time will only make you look suspicious. Casually approach her about it tomorrow. We will do. I'll report the results to you tomorrow. Alright. I should be able to tell you the results of our things at the end by- <laughs> on our end by then as well. Okay, talk to you later. What what makes you think it's gonna be so easy? You think they're gonna talk and like, TALK MOTHERFUCKERS! And it's like, okay, uh, uh, we work for this guy. <laughs> okay, talk to you- okay, talk to you later. I ended the call and clenched my teeth in frustration. I hate to admit it, but he's damn right. This could be bad. Not to mention, I didn't steerly warn her. I didn't steerly warn her like I did the time with Misukasa-san. During the, that encounter, I made sure she knew my identity must have been kept a secret, but I neglected to do so with Mis Mayu Senpai. Actually, on second thought, that wasn't even the problem. How did I completely slip? How did it completely slip my mind? I knew Mayu Senpai was an important student from the school, so I should have been more prudent. And now, I have to wait till tomorrow before I can s 
set <laughs> so I can set about fixing my screw up. I wish I can do something about it now, but I can't enter the girls' floor at this hour, and it won't make and it wouldn't make her sense. And it wouldn't make sense for her to call her to ask something like this. I just have to hope my ketchup excuse fuel fooled her. But it didn't. Another view. Hmm. My little exper experiment concluded that, yep, ketchup wouldn't make a stain that dark. <laughs> I'm sorry, this, this is my imagination of her fucking experiment. I could just imagine, like, <laughs> she poured ketchup on a, like, on clothes, and she cut herself, right, like, her finger or something, and she's like, yep, my little experiment concluded that, yep, ketchup wouldn't make a stain that dark. So, yeah, I guess it must have been blood then. Satoru-kun seems like he was fine, though. But, since he made up an excuse, that means he knew how the blood got there. And the logical conclusion from there is... <laughs> well, he evidently didn't want me knowing about it. Yeah, I probably shouldn't poke my nose into it. <laughs> no, I gotta do something. I can't just ignore that. In that case, there's, one thing, there's only one thing to do. Is he gonna confront me tomorrow? Doom, doom, doom. Oh, there's like a little car with my senpai. Hold on. Hold on, let me let me check something out first. Oh, I'm going down the my route. Damn. <gasps> Are you saying? Hold on. That there's like what different stories? Like we're no longer doing the main quest. Like main quest finished. Now it's time for you know. The Mayu realm. <laughs> yeah, look, huh? Dude, that's so cool. That's so cool. So like, fuck, we're gonna we're gonna be here for a long time, guys. So I hope you're prepared. I got I hope you got your jammies on. I hope you got food or whatever. Or I don't know, man. Hopefully you see me every well, every other day. <laughs> No, every day again. You said Tuesdays and Saturdays. You're not gonna be posting. Well, maybe Thursdays because I do go to school now on Thursdays. But we'll see. Maybe I could go later. Maybe um, I could like record these later or maybe super earlier. So we'll figure it out. Today is a substitute holiday, but that doesn't mean we're allowed to relax and waste the day away. Students that participate in the fair are going to be cleaning everything up today. fight broke out yesterday. Did you hear guys? Did you guys hear about that? Oh yeah, I heard that too. Supposedly some group of people who hated Astros came and started a commotion. My heart dropped for a second upon hearing yesterday's incident being brought up during breakfast. Dang, really? I had no idea. I was unfortunate. It was unfortunate that something like that had to happen, but I'm just glad that it didn't get too out of hand. It, feel, it feels like quite oh, the wasted opportunity, though. Hmm? Why's that? Well, well, I don't mean to boast, but I had a bit of a thought. Perhaps if the person responsible for yesterday's scuffle came to our cafe, we may be able to change their view on Astros. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I know, right? It's a shame that they didn't. I indeed. Yesterday was an enormous success. I'm so very glad it all turned out as well as it did. We should be in the clear, Satoru-kun. I nod in response to Nanami's com communicative, communicative glance. It was really a stroke of, for of fortune that they decided to eliminate me before doing anything else. The attack occurred at the time when there was no bystanders and Dad's team sealed off the era before eventually apprehending them. No student witnessed the incidents. Some definitely may have heard shouting or and or gunshots. Their guns were equipped with silencers, however, so even if anyone heard gunfire, they wouldn't be able to dis dis <laughs> discern <laughs> discern the sound. Hence the rumor of a small scuffle. Well, we we sure have our hands cut up for.
for us today with all the cleanup? Indeed, but it must be done. We brought food and drinks to the pool, so it's our responsibility to clean the area to how it was how it was before. So that's the plan for today. Everyone, let's work together and get this done. Okay. Better get enough food in me first. But what I'm but what I'm most thankful for is the fact that no one seems to made the connection between my labor turn and the rumor scuffled. Well, with a few exceptions, of course. I feel like you uh, usually eat more than plenty for breakfast, Sa Sawakun. Yeah, but I think I'm of getting one extra dish today. The first ex expectation being Misukasa-san. I already informed her about the attack yesterday. Considering she doesn't chime in, and when we talk of the rumor, when the <laughs> talk of the rumor arose, I can't take that to mean she's going to keep. I can take that to to mean she's going to keep my identity a secret. Which leaves only, which means the only one I have to worry about is my senpai. All the school researchers could have very fight. All school researchers could very well have been informed about the police president on campus yesterday. And since Mayu Senpai is a researcher, in addition to being a student, there is a distinct, distinctive, distinct possibility that she made that connection already, and that bloodstain would would only give her more reason to su suspect me. Hey Satoru, you look kind of antsy. Everything all right? I'm fine. I'm just kind of worried, wondering where Mayu Senpai is. Hmm. True. She isn't here yet. I need to check with her stat, but it's gonna. But it's the same scenario as last night. I can't do anything until she gets here. I'm really itching to just send her a call or a text, but that might come across as a little weird. Oh look, Satoru, speak of the devil. Ah. I stand up from my seat the moment I spot her near the entrance. I'll be back. What? You're not even done eating though. You can have it. <laughs> I can just imagine him just like... <laughs> Just like grabbing the food, right? And just uh, like eating it. Like <laughs> his fucking jaw unhinges like a snake and just like uh, <laughs> I leave my seat and walk straight to Maya Senpai. Maya Senpai. Oh! A look of surprise flashes across her face for a brief moment upon hearing me. But she quickly regains composure. Good morning, Satoru kun. And my fear is about to be proven true. Sorry for the suddenness. But can I borrow you for a bit? She asked before I could. She asked before I could. This isn't looking good. Um, sure. Wanna come with me then? I follow after her, preparing myself for the inevitable at this point. Okay. I'm really excited. After a short while, we arrive at her room. So, what do you need? I just really have to ask you about something that I've, that's been eating at me. It's not something we need to be talking about with the others around, so that's why I brought you here. I knew it. If she knows, then I probably need to be the one to make the first move. The worst case scenario from my point of view is having my identity and connection with the SFD exposed. So initially, I want to get her to cooperate with me before that happens. So, um, about yesterday. My senpai. Ah! I abruptly, and grab I abruptly grab her shoulder and stared straight in her eyes. Huh? What are you doing? I'm sorry. I kept this a secret from you. Satoru-kun. I believe this. If nothing else, I... Satoru-kun, I knew it. Yeah, I... You still have those violent tendencies, and you're getting yourself into fights all the time. What? Oh, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> this again, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whew. <clears throat> I'm ready. I can do this. You're semi professional. Come on, guy. You got. Oh, fuck, man. Sorry, I'm just. <laughs> huh? Uh, uh, my face is totally buried in her tits right now. Uh, uh, Mayu Senpai? Really? It was exactly what I thought it was. 
You feel guilty about it, don't you? That's why you tried hiding it from me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fighting's bad. It's wrong. So please, so stop, please. So Toru-kun, for me, okay? <laughs> Hold it. Wait, let me explain. I pry my arms... I pry her arms off of... Off of me and pull my face out of the depths of her breasts. God, God damn it, that was dangerous. I nearly lost sight of my purpose. What that I because of that warmth. Soft, cushiony feeling. Wh what are you talking about? Violent tendencies. Don't lie. You got into a fight during your break yesterday, didn't you? What what? That's why you had blood on your clothes. You told me it was ketchup, but I did a test yesterday and ketchup goes. <laughs> I want to hear a test, seriously. But I did a test yesterday and ketchup doesn't add stain on clothes like that. She took a cloth with a red stain on it and presented it in front of my eyes. She's right. The stain on my clothes was a darker, was dark red, whereas this was, was a much lighter, closer to orange. There was a scuffle that broke out on campus yesterday, wasn't there? Some of the other researchers told me that the police came in and handled everything. Were you on your break during the exact time it happened? Uh... She does have access to information most normal students don't. But her conclusion still went in a very wild direction. Wildly different direction. You picked a fight with someone, didn't you? N no I swear the to God I didn't. She's so off... She's so off the mark, it's, it's not even funny. <laughs> it's funny to me. I mean, that's a good thing for me, but still. You're still acting all reckless in war, aren't you? Is that the reason you're getting into a fight all the time? I'm not getting into fights. Will you listen to me? If that's not what happened, then tell me how you got blood on your clothes. If you were secretly getting into fights, getting yourself beat up, and not telling me because you didn't want me to worry, I I don't know what, to, what I'll do. Uh, what do I even say? She's worried for me out of the... The pure kindness. Sorry for lying to you, Maya Senpai. Slowly, the words came out. I'm relieved. Just really, really relieved. I should. I never should have suspected her to begin with. She worries for me because she knows who I once was. I can't even put into words how how nice it it, it <laughs> how nice it's it feels for someone to care about you this much. But. That's all the more reason why I need to keep my identity a secret from her. Your guess was right. I was at the side I was at the side of a scuffle yesterday. Uh huh? But don't jump to conclusions. I didn't start anything. I just got dragged in because I was I was around when it started. Really? Yeah. The arrest was a lot more of a struggle than the rumors made it out to be. The police told me to keep quiet about it because they were afraid of a panic breaking amongst the students. So, you didn't get into any fights, and you didn't get hurt? Nope. I don't even know- I didn't even know there was blood on my clothes until you pointed it out. Whew. Phew. Thank goodness. She slumps on her bed, as if, if the tension- <laughs> as if the tension just left her body all at once. I guess I was just reading too deeply into the situation. You were trying to hide it from me, so my imagination started- Running a, a little wild. I'm really sorry. I was I was really worried you haven't <laughs> you haven't grown out of your troublemaker face. Okay, okay. I really appreciate it if you stop bringing up my past. I have grown out of that phase. It's not going. It's not going to go around pick. I'm not going to go around picking fights left and right anymore. <laughs> yeah, silly me. I should have known. Sorry for jumping to conclusions and accusing you of that. It's fine. I'm just glad you care about me, Maya Senpai. Thank you. But yeah, I gotta say, you really surprised me today. Huh? You're usually a pretty calm and collected person, but you got really emotional today. <laughs> well, that's a simple reason behind that. A self deriding deriding smile crosses her face, and her and her face slowly lowers. I don't want any more regrets. Uh, that's not what you want to tell me. You want to tell me more. So I told myself, if I get worried about something, I won't let, I won't let, <laughs> I won't let hesitation stop me from saying anything. That's, she likely referring to the day, to our days of Ferran. 
He regrets turning a blind eye towards my plight. Thank you. I mean it. No, it's all good. I thank you for being honest with me. Oh, but I don't I do understand understand why you wanted to keep why you didn't want to initially tell me. You didn't want me to worry. So I'll keep I'll keep what you told me today a secret. Thanks. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. I think I'll prefer some coffee. You want some? Sure. It, it is really nice to have someone who cares about you so much. But that only makes it harder for me to keep the truth from her. To hide the truth from her. I can't tell her who I am. It hurts, but it is what it is. I knew I, I knew I had to deal with it, these things, when I entered this line of work. Alrighty, I'm gonna end it there. <laughs> okay. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, because I, I was looking at the statistics, man. 82% 82, 82 of you guys are not subscribed. Like, come on, man. Well, if you didn't like it, I don't want you to subscribe. Well, not want you. It's like, there's no purpose for you to subscribe, you know? If you didn't like it, then, like, you didn't like it. I'll try again some other time. Either fixing audio, fixing my attitude, you know, doing this, this, and that. You know what I mean? But if you did like it, subscribe. Why not, man? Like, all, most of my videos are like this unless, you know, I fuck up badly with the audio, which... Ugh, that's the hardest thing to do right now. Fuck you. <laughs> Cause like, God, don't you have a system of making, fixing your audio? No, I don't. I never had. Like, I, I tried messing with the audio cause that's all I can do. Audio and maybe some pictures here and there. Because like, what is there to do with visual novels? Like, if I cut everything out, right? It's like, you're not gonna see it, cause it's like, I cut every- like, the whole story. It's not like, uh, RPGs where it's like, you know, I could cut out my grinding or whatever, or I could cut maybe the- the trip a little short, like, if I'm not talking or- like, Skyrim, you know what I mean? But, with these games, like, I can't really fuck up anything other than, you know, the audio and maybe some visuals if I say something. But yeah, man. Yeah, you're just rambling, aren't you? Yeah, I'm just rambling. Because, yeah, I like to ramble. <laughs> I like to ramble. I like to rap. I like to, uh, um, I don't know, man. I like to do other things. Like, oh, drawing stick figures. Which, I'm trying to make something on the side, so let's see how that turns out later. Maybe, um, what month is it? It's February, like March, like late March. When I, you know, come out with my music too. Because I have made two songs already. Two songs! And I got six more to go because <laughs> I get writer's block for every song I write. <laughs> I'm surprised I, I wrote two songs already. Yeah, no one cares about you. If you're gonna end it, just end it. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Follow me on Twitter. Like, the link will be in the description. Follow me on Twitter because, you know, I tweet, tweet, tweet. Well, not every day, but I try to at least tweet something. So, yeah. Alrighty. Well, this is Gat saying, Farewell, and as always, bye-bye.